Hey everyone, it is Water Wednesday and we are going to be talking about why dehydration may be a hidden cause of your health ailments. Thank you so much for joining or watching the replay. My name is Christina and I do social media and marketing for Chance and Water USA. So, did you know that 75% of Americans are chronically dehydrated and most of them don't even realize it? Crazy, right? There is a reason why when people are admitted to the hospital that um, being hooked up to an IV is one of the very first things, if not the first thing, that happens to you. Water plays such a crucial role in the body and today we're going to be discussing 12 different um, common, all too common symptoms of dehydration. Um, and before we get into that, I do have a quick disclaimer. The FDA regulates that only a drug can treat, cure, mitigate, or prevent a disease. I am not a doctor. Please consult a licensed medical professional before embarking on any new health regimen. So, um, I know that the idea of drinking more water to um, get over some of these common ailments sounds just all too simple, um, but I have seen it uh, work time and time again with um, myself and my family members. Um, I actually had an uncle years ago who, um, I'm not sure what exactly his issue was, but it was to the point where he was down on his knees praying to God, asking for relief and healing of this issue. And he said that he felt the Holy Spirit tell him that to drink more water. And he thought it was a little strange at first, but he decided he had nothing to lose, right? So um, within a few weeks of drinking more water, that issue resolved itself. Um, and I mean, I just think that's incredible. So um, I want you to start thinking of water being like the fuel in your car. We, um, we all know how important it is to um, fuel our cars and we wouldn't expect it to run, function properly, you know, just on fumes and be able to go as fast and get us places if we don't put fuel in our car. So why are we walking around um, without drinking enough water and expecting us to be functioning on all cylinders, right? So um, I'm going to go through very quickly, I'm not going to waste your time, um, 12 of the most common symptoms of dehydration and the reason why water um, plays a role in these. So number one is um, con constipation. I know it's not a fun topic to talk about. Um, but the colon actually requires a lot of water to process your waste properly. And you may be thinking, hey, um, you know, I go regularly, I go at least once a day, that's, you know, it's not painful, I'm not constipated. But um, you actually want to be going um, as many times as you ate the day before. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense, right? We are not eating all at once, therefore we should not be eliminating that waste all at once. So if average person eating three meals a day should be... Um, going to the bathroom to eliminate that waste three times a day the very next day. So constipation is number one of the common ailments that um, dehydration plays a role in. Number two is excess weight. You know, here we are, we go around, we um, want to try exercise and diets and pills and potions to lose weight. But one of the easiest things we can do is to consume more water because when the body lacks water, we... Um, our bodies try to hold on to every last drop of that water and it creates um, water weight and um, stored fat. So um, drinking more water can definitely help lose weight. Number three is lack of energy. So the, our enzyme act activity in our body slows down when we don't get enough water and that results in fatigue. So the next time that you um, are lacking energy and you're Instead of reaching for a soda, an energy drink, or a cup of coffee, I encourage you to drink water instead because um, caffeinated beverages are dehydrating and you actually have to drink twice as much water as the caffeinated beverage just in order to make up for that water lost. Even though um, they contain water, they are not, um, they are, they're not hydrating you. So lack of energy is number three. Number four is high cholesterol. The body produces more cholesterol in order to prevent water loss from the cells. So you're going to see a theme throughout this that the body is doing whatever it can to keep you alive. And it needs water, and when it doesn't get enough, it has to kind of find ways to circumvent that. And producing um, excess cholesterol is one of them. Number five is skin problems. Um, this is probably the most common. I'm sure at some point in your life you may have experienced dandruff, or dry skin, um, and that is just one of the ways that um, dehydration manifests itself. Um, common rashes are another one um, that 
the toxins actually aren't being able to leave the body through the pores the way that they could if we were properly hydrated. So that's number five. Number six is respiratory issues. You may not realize it, but um, breathing requires water. And the only thing the body needs more than water is air. We can only survive a few minutes without water and a few days with, I'm sorry, a few minutes without air and a few days without water. So um, when we don't have enough water, the amount of histamine in our bodies increases as the water levels decrease and our airways are restricted in order to conserve water. So I thought that was really interesting. Uh, number seven is blad bladder and kidney issues. So um, toxins build up in our systems and water is needed to effectively um, help the toxins leave the body and it can result in bladder and kidney issues if we are not drinking enough water. Number eight is high blood pressure. So this one uh, makes a lot of sense. The blood is gonna be thicker if we don't have enough water in there and that's gonna create high blood pressure. Number nine is premature aging. So um, wrinkles, um, our skin. Uh, there's a great quote by Dr. Nicholas Pericone. He is a dermatologist and he says, um, I'm going to paraphrase this, he says that the water, uh, the fountain of life did not spew forth OJ and diet soda. It's always been good old H2O. How can we expect our skin to be plumped up and beautiful if we are not drinking the elixir of life? He calls water the elixir of life. So I love that. Um, drinking water is definitely going to have an impact on um, premature aging and looking younger. Um, if I were to ask you how old you thought I was, chances are you would say younger than I actually am. I'm 34 years old and people mistake me for being my 15 year old sister all the time. So um, that's number nine, premature aging. Number 10 is digestive issues. So in addition to the constipation we discussed in number one, um, lack of water and alkaline minerals can wreak havoc on our digestive systems, resulting in ulcers, gastritis, and acid reflux. So I did a whole um, periscope on um, why you don't want to be taking those over-the-counter things for acid reflux, and you can catch that on uh, the replay on catch.me slash chance in water USA. That's catch with a K. Um, so I won't go into that anymore, but, but a lot of the water that we are drinking is devoid of alkaline minerals, and it's creating a huge problem. So you may be thinking, hey, I'm drinking a lot of water, but if it doesn't have those minerals in it, you could be um, experiencing the digestive issues like acid reflux and you don't have to. Number 11, wrapping up here, uh, joint pain and stiffness. The body uses water to cushion our joints um, as well as um, the little spinal cord vertebrae. And um, so when we are dehydrated, we don't have as much water in there to lubricate the joints and it can result in stiffness back aches, and things like that. And then number 12, finally, is um, brain fog and lack of clarity. So a 1% drop in hydration results in a 5% drop in performance. Think about that for a second. When you, our brain um, is not properly hydrated, it's not firing on all cylinders. So because we are electrical beings, we need that electroconductivity, that water, um, to communicate to ourselves. All those little messages that the, the brain fires off can't um, go as effectively when we are dehydrated. So brain fog and mental clarity is number 12. And the question I'm sure you are all wondering is how much water should I be drinking in order not to be dehydrated and have to deal with these things, right? Um, so the recommendation that we make at Chance in Water is half of your body weight in ounces. So for example, a 150 pound person would want to be drinking a minimum of 75 ounces a day. And I say minimum because that is the amount of water lost every day naturally through breathing, sweating, and going to the bathroom. So obviously um, we wanna be drinking more than that if possible. If you are pregnant, nursing, living in a hot climate, uh, elevated climate, or are exercising strenuously, then you will need to be drinking even more than the minimum. So um, that's all I have for you today. I do invite you to visit us at chanceandwater.com to find out how you can transform your tap water into healthy drinking water for pennies on the gallon. So that's chanceandwater.com. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back next week live Wednesday at 3 p.m. for our next Water Wednesday episode. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.